through and through. That's how old are you? How old? 21. Years old. 21. Uh, we you're, live in a you're a little world. young. I'm a little the reason young, I'm sir. saying that is because you have this mindset of individualism. You might be right. doing okay. Right. You might even be doing better than a lot of white people. But your people as a whole, they're still Mexicans down at the border, right. locked up, separated from their family. Because right. there's rules. There's rules? Is, hold, is on, there, hold, okay, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's establish this. Do you what, guys lock your what doors land, tonight? Hold on. What land are we in? We are in America. No. Is, what state is this? Arizona. Arizona. What was it before Arizona? New Mexico. Mexico. Okay. So this point? is land that they stole yeah. from your people, okay. and now you have to follow their rules. The people that came colonized and slave. I, I was born in America. I was born in this country. In Arizona? I was born in California. In California. Same thing. That's, that's, Mexico, that's right? Mexico. So what do you mean I have to follow? The, I'm part of that country. Yeah. So what do you mean I'm following their rules? The, the, the laws of America okay. are established for this country, yes? Correct. And if you break the, those laws, there's consequences, yes? Correct. Are there the same laws in different countries? Or there's different laws. Everybody has their own yeah. constitution. So, like I said, the people that came and raped, robbed, and murdered your forefathers okay. and foremothers came over here and established rules that now you have to follow, or there's consequences. That's what I was born into. Is that justice? What do you mean? Is it unjust? Is it just something that happened? Okay, so and then they've paid. never paid for their crimes, right? right? So you have criminals setting up laws yes. for everybody else to follow, but they wouldn't follow them themselves. What's the? What's the? Look, crimes against humanity, kidnapping, murder, genocide, rape, crimes against you. Yeah, every I, I nation, all, every nation bad, takes these serious. Okay. Every nation has consequences for doing these things. Have they ever paid for them though? Because uh, they, they, they want us to pay for them. This world be trying me When it's my time to go Don't say bye to me When my flesh is dead and gone Y'all don't cry for me Cause my soul could never die Boy, I'm alive and free Ay, Let a heathen touch me God gon' slide for me Ay, Thankful for the wisdom he provided me For the longest I was lost But he sent signs for me The curses that we under just reminded me They reminded me those what about Africans them? who sold us, they go, they have punishment too. Okay. Right, we're not defending none of them. No. We're, Everyone's we're, judged on themselves. Right. The so you don't agree with the Bible? What? We, I on. just read. Have you read Romans 8? Read it again. Hold on. Read it again. Have you read Romans 9? Have you read Romans 8? Yeah, I read it. Have you read Romans 9? Romans 8 say? What part? It's a, it's a whole chapter. Hold on. What does it say? Hold on. What's your name? Yeah. Joey. Huh? Joey. Joey? What does it say? No, I, let's get it. What are we talking about? Romans We're 8. talking about the Bible. Romans 9. Yeah. What is Romans 9? Actually, it's Bible. I think let's, let's get John 3. John 3.16. John 3.16. You know what that means? What that says by God heart? God so loved the world. Okay, what does John 3 and 14 say? 3 and 14? Yeah. Two verses up. I don't know by heart. What does it say? Yeah, what does it say? Do you know what it is? Can you, uh, uh, uh. We can look. Oh, I wasn't going there. Sorry, can I go there? <laughs> what were you guys' names? That's the start of the context of John 3 and 16. So if you're missing 14, you're missing a lot of what John 3 16 means. Right. Now, well, to answer your question, first? because I can tell that you at least read a little bit of the Bible, right? You familiar with the prophets? Ezekiel, Jeremiah, Isaiah, so on and so forth. For sure, yeah. Your question was, or your statement was that we are judged as individuals. Individuals, most definitely. Okay. Are we judged as nations as well, yes or no? Yeah. Old Testament or throughout the Bible? Okay, what do you mean by judge? Because a judgment, in fact, damn, punishments. Like Let's say punishments. Yeah, there was punishments. Do we receive punishments as yeah. nations of I, people? I think America is as a nation so to your point he can be judged on his individual deeds but he still has a judgment coming for his nation just like Isaiah Jeremiah Ezekiel these are righteous men in the Bible who went through the punishments with their nation of people because their nation went off and disobeyed God right so they went into slavery right 
Can I ask? Go ahead. Well, like, what's the point here? Like, like me being Caucasian. Well, I believe the brother was trying to test to see how much of the Bible you actually believed in. Okay. So if we can go to John three sixteen, starting at fourteen on down, and you agree with that, that's fine. That's uh so-called that's something Christians hold to but if we go to another part of the Bible that you disagree with or that you have an issue with then you can't say that you believe the Bible in totality I don't have any issue with that. okay so again Revelation 13 and 10 said if any lead into captivity they have to go into captivity yeah. right now the point the brother was making was Caucasian nations every single one of them have benefited from slavery from the slavery that happened over here right still to this day the wage gap or the wealth gap between these nations of people is because of the wealth that was accumulated through the slave trade okay. right so you benefit from it you benefit just by being able to walk around on stolen ground right just just white people or me as a as a latino do i benefit what, from that where are you from i'm from Cal i'm from california i'm american are Mexican. Yeah, Mexican. Are both sides of your family. Yeah. Okay. So Mexicans are, let's say, Black, Hispanics, and Natives, because they are one nation of people, originally, right? Not white people. No, that's a whole different nation. So of how people. far back of originally are we going? Do you think we all are descendants from? Two from Adam. Adam and Eve. Yeah. Okay. I mean, so, everybody alive today. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So. But God made a division of people to divide different people into different nations, national groups. That makes sense? Okay. So, black, Hispanics, and natives, we look different, we talk different, we have different so-called traditions right now, but we all originate from Israel, right? Black, Hispanics, and natives are the number one population in prison today, in the land of the free. Largest prison population, and we make up the majority. We are top when it comes to getting killed in the streets and no convictions happen. Right. Right? We are at the bottom of society as far as economics. You're shaking your head. Yeah, I don't agree with that. Prove it. Because what what don't you agree the with? The bigger first? population is white. Let's say that. Say it again? You said the most crimes happening against your people, correct? No, I said Specifically, Movement. being killed in the streets yes. by cops with no <laughs> yeah. conviction. Yes. I don't know. They had their cameras thing. Okay. Know. And where do you get that stat from? From what is that? Southern Poverty or Law? Well, okay. FBI statistics. Can we hear him? So on and so forth. Whole point. Okay. Actually, give me. Uh, okay. Wait, Isaiah so 42 what's, your, 22. what's your like your overall statement is? The Bible was written by and for Black Hispanics and Natives. Not this, for anyone else. No. Uh, this, yeah, is not, this, this is not a book for every nation of people. That's here. That's here. Okay, so I'm going I'm to read something and I want you guys to explain it. Right, okay. Cool? Y'all yeah. can put it in context. If yeah. I take it out of context, yeah. you can explain Super it for me if I'm not explaining it correctly. Uh, numbers 24 and 17. Doesn't? Okay. Because I understand uh, uh, a pre -sum supposition of. Christians a lot of time is the Old Testament is different from the New Testament. Same God. Same God. I like that. This is the book of Numbers chapter 24 and verse 17. Bring it out. I shall see him but not, but not now. I shall behold him but not nigh. There shall come a star out of Jacob. Are you, are you familiar with who the star out of Jacob is? You're shaking Jesus. your head yes. Jacob. Yeah, he's in the line of Jesus. He's he, this is the nation of people Jesus comes from. Yeah. So who is this star or Messiah figure that's prophesied to come out of Jacob? Jesus. Jesus, right? Read. And a scepter shall rise out of Israel. A scepter is a ruler. So he's a Messiah figure and a ruler. King of kings, right? Read. And shall smite the corners of Moab. So this Moab is a biblical nation of people. He says Jesus... There's going to be a point in time that hasn't happened yet that he's going to come back and smite the Moabites, yeah. right? By nation, read. And destroy all the children of Shem. He's coming to destroy people, not for hugs and kisses, right? Read. Verse 18, and Edom shall be a possession. Now, 
he he was speaking about do you know what nation of people you come from in the bible because everybody alive today comes from somebody in the bible read that again verse 18 and edom shall be a possession edom is the nation called the nation people come from. right So what if I have like what if I have a picture of Caucasian picture? That's a good question. Give me numbers one and eighteen. Then Ezra two and fifty-eight. Keep going. Edom shall be a possession and what? A possession is property. Like See those it. shoes are your possession. Right? This jacket is my possession. Read. Also shall Sierra also shall be a possession. Sierra was the inheritance of the Edomites. Right? This is where your people, God allotted your people to live, right? Mount Sierra shall what? Shall also be a possession. Right, read. For his enemies. For his enemies. This is future prophecy. Jesus didn't come back and do any of this yet. Right, read. And Israel shall do valiantly. So there's a juxtaposition between Israelites receiving salvation, deliverance, and doing valiantly and judgment on these other nations of people. Can you guys explain that or put that in context if it's not in context? So, so are you basically saying that there's, okay, so I think you're referring to what we would think as like the, the time that Jesus comes back, he establishes his kingdom. Right. With the, the free will, you know, free trip, there's going to be a thousand years of Jesus' earthly reign, you know, future for Israel, Hebrews. Okay, well, that. So, and that, doesn't the Bible say that that kingdom is going to stand forever? And doesn't it say it's going to destroy all the kingdoms that came before it? Yeah, so what, what, what's your point? Is, what does this have to do with the Caucasian? I believe I made the point, right? The okay, Caucasian. Wait, so I, I you're, saying, you're, you're referring to a, a, a coming kingdom, right? right. That you would agree with, right? Some of us, there's different interpretations. Some okay. That it's a symbolic language and there's no literal. Some of it is, some of it is literal. Yeah, I mean, I mean, we can, but what does that have to do with my Caucasian brothers? Is there no plan? Are you guys out here saying there's no plan of redemption? There, your plan of redemption is based upon the color of your skin? No, of or course your, not. Your, your, your I have to ask you guys what your nationality was because we're told not to judge on appearance. Okay. So, so does our just because he looks like this doesn't mean that he's Caucasian. Yeah, just because okay. he looks like this doesn't mean he's... Yeah, when illegal. I mean color of skin, I mean like right. your, your bloodline. Does, right, does your, read that. Does your, like, yeah, I'll, I'll read you my answer. Because the Bible should be able to interpret itself. Yeah. Right? Read. Right. Matthew 1. Numbers chapter 1, verse 18. And they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month, and they declared their pedigrees after their families. A pedigree is a bloodline. Right? They declared their pedigree after their families by the house of their fathers. By who your father is. It goes patrilineal. Right, regardless of what your mother is, regardless of what people might believe they're mixed with, your father determined who your tribe and your nation is. Just like Moses had different nationalities of wives, but his children were still considered Levites from the tribe of Levi, or Israelites from the tribe of Levi. Right? Make sense? Yeah. Okay. Wait, wait. Yeah, it's, it's, of course. Thank you. <laughs> um, Revelation 7-9. And it's talking about having a new heaven and new earth. Okay. So after this, I looked at okay. the whole, a great mall. I know that one by heart. Every nation, every tribe and tribe. Okay. Do you, 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 do you study the original languages? Not Greek. entirely, but not. Okay, but not as much as when, I when you need to, you go into certain things, right? So at the beginning of Revelation 7, it says what? The elect are 144,000. 12,000 from each tribe of the nation of Israel. So there's a hierarchy in the kingdom of heaven and the 144,000 are ethnic Israelites, right? Now, when we get to Revelation 7 and 9, it speaks about out of every nation, tribe, tongue, so on and so forth. At this point in time, Israelites were already scattered into every nation under heaven, speaking all these different languages, calling themselves and behaving as different nations of people. Does that make sense? And we can prove that. So, yeah, as to that, that would be during the tribulation. So that would be when we're not here. 
Christians are not right Well, that prophecy dictates that Israelites are going to be scattered into all nations doing these things until yes, the kingdom will, is yes, established. No, no, they will represent Christ during that time when we aren't here as Christians. What do you mean? That's during the tribulation. So okay, uh, the you got seven and nine in the blue letter. Let's read that. About 144,000 during that time will represent Christ to all the nations. Okay, but they're ethnic Israelites is the point. Yes, okay, because cool. we, we, yeah. won't, because we won't Those be here. Those are ethnic Israelites, but, that's the hierarchy in heaven. Yes, but we won't be here, and this all goes far away from what we're trying to do out here, the gospel. And the that's, gospel. That's we what we should, and that's what we should be doing out here. Because honestly, yeah, the gospel. honestly, we shouldn't be focusing on that. We should be focusing on that, though. The gospel is that we are all sinners in need of the Savior. Yeah. Show and me that's, where the Bible says that's what the gospel is. That's what Christ came to okay, do. Okay, okay. He I'd was like the final. He the, was the final sacrifice. I'd like to address the gospel, but first I, know, I but, want to deal with yes. Revelation seven. And I know, nine. but that's but that's besides the point. How though. Is it? No, it's besides your point, but your friend made it. I know, so but that's let's that's deal not our focus decency out here. In order that's... and give him the chance to die okay, okay, real quick, sure. and then we'll get for to sure, you. For sure. Go ahead. Revelation chapter 7 verse 9. Now, right. right. after this I beheld and lo, a great multitude which no man could number. A great multitude, not a mixed multitude, <laughs> but a great multitude which no man could number, because Israel was prophesied to be as the sand of the sea. Read. Of all nations. Of all nations, like we read from Torah, it was prophesied that Israel would be scattered into all nations by slavery. And kindreds, and kindreds, and people, and peoples, and tongues, and tongues speaking different languages, just like in Pentecost, Acts two, where all these Israelites were speaking different languages, and the miracle happened where they could understand each other in their own tongues. Read. Stood before the throne and before the Lamb, clothed with white robes and palms in their hands. Now let's get into the Greek. Greek word for kindreds, strongs. I already said, it doesn't say mixed multitude like it says when they came out of Egypt, which is a mixed multitude of people, different nationalities, right? Read. The Greek word for kindreds in Revelation 7 and 9, strongs G5442. This is the word for kindred. In the New Testament, all the persons. Just reading it for face value, it seems that this is different nations of people. Read. All the persons descending from one of the 12 sons of the patriarch Jacob. That's all this word means. So even in the context of 7 and 9, this innumerable multitude outside of the 144,000, these are still Israelites. Right. This is still one ethnic group of people. I'm telling you, from Genesis to Revelation, these are Israelites that the gospel is written to. Gospel. Gentiles, Israelites are known as Gentiles throughout the, for, since before their, uh, uh, them coming into the world, they were prophesied to be so-called Gentiles. Gentile just means nation. It has no other meaning other than the context in which we read it and where we can differentiate what Gentile means by the context. But Gentile by itself just means nation of people. So there's no distinction between Jews and Gentiles. It's just so in, that's a good point. In the New Testament, I believe it's what is it, Romans 2? Yeah. And there's a few other places in Galatians where there says there's no difference between Jew or Greek or Jew and Gentile. Right? No, there is a difference. There is a difference. But why does the Bible say there isn't? It doesn't say there isn't. Romans chapter 3, verse 1. Oh, yeah, yeah. What advantage? Give me, uh, yeah. Exodus 11 and 7. Go ahead. Romans chapter 3, verse 1. Out, huh? What advantage then hath the Jew? Or what profit is there of circumcision? Is that it? That's what you want. What are we talking about? <laughs> no difference between Jew, oh, no. Jew and Gentile. Uh, or Jew or Greek. There's neither Jew nor Greek. That's not us. Galatians chapter 3, verse 28. Bring it out. There is neither Jew nor Greek. There is neither bond nor free. There is neither male nor female. For ye are all one in Christ Jesus. There's another verse. I forget where it's at. Where it basically says there's no difference between Jew or Gentile. Why is that? Because these Jews and Gentiles are one nation. Okay, well, what's that other verse? Is that the one that you can read? I'm sorry? Well, is that the one that you can read the verse? Because oh. I was going to say, I think, I think if you're using that to make the point that they're the same people, the same logic you would use would be like, okay, well, I mean, girls and guys are the exact same. Uh, I, hear, I think the, I what that's trying to emphasize is there's no difference if we're only I'm going to prove that there is a difference between different nations of people. 
and that the only reason that it says that in the New Testament is because these two groups of people are actually the same people, right? Can I ask a question? Like, just go ahead, go ahead. So I can understand this yeah, all yeah. more. Go ahead. Am I screwed? Being Caucasian. That's a good question. If you are Caucasian, we we can get what your national judgment is, because Israel has a national judgment. Caucasians do. Chinese people do so on and so forth. Read. Thirteen uh, Eleven and seven. How long you guys been down here for? I'd love to talk more, but we're trying to get these pieces out and trying to get a good install. I mean, you guys can have them out to pass this by and continue Yeah, I just want to know, because I do want to continue. I do want to talk more. I don't know if my voice is on this, but what was your guys' names? Or are you guys like... Uh, like a check out Sakari on YouTube. Sakari on YouTube. Sakari. 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 Hey, man, we had, we had good news for you, too. What was my good news? You're an Israelite uh, okay. from the tribe of Issachar. That's right. You're Mexican, too. You're an Israelite. So does that, is that, am I redeemed in Christ? Is there, is there a plan of redemption for me? Just because you're an Israelite doesn't mean that everything. So how, do I, how, how can I go to heaven? Obey God. That's okay. right. So is that, is that for Jesus. everyone? Can you I mean, obey God and make it it's, to heaven? It's in his benefit to do these things. But, like I said, he, even if he does, he can't escape his uh, people's judgment. Okay, so is that judgment going to be here on earth? Uh, of course. Okay, so if he dies before that judgment, will he escape it? No. So he'll make it to heaven, or the of place course. before the resurrection. Of right? course. So what judgment is he in? Is there going to be you a You want to know that before you go? Give me over yeah, I'll, I'll get it to him. Actually, yeah, give me that. Uh, start at 15. What was this? Obadiah. Obadiah. Obadiah chapter 1 verse 15. For the day of the Lord is near upon all the heathen. You know what the day of the Lord entails? This is the day of vengeance, day of darkness, evil, destruction. Right? Yes. Whoa. It says the day of the Lord is near, is coming on all the heathen, which is the nations outside of the nation of Israel. Read. As thou hast done, it shall as be. As they have done, as, as what you reap is what you sow. Nothing more, nothing less. Right? Read. As thou hast done, it shall be done unto thee. As they have done to the Israelites, it shall be done unto them. Read. Thy reward shall return upon thine own head. Right? For as ye have drunk upon my holy mountain, the things you've done to my holy people, so shall all the heathen drink continually. You're going to have to receive that same cup of punishment. Right? The cup of indignation from God. Go ahead. Yea, they shall drink and they shall swallow down. They're going to drink this cup. And they shall be as though they had not been. And it's going to be a point in time where it's like they were never here. Read. But upon Mount Zion shall be delivered. Again, juxtaposition between judgment for other people and, and salvation for the Israelites. Read. And there shall be holiness, and the house of Jacob shall possess their possession. Right. And the house of Jacob shall be a fire, and the house of Joseph a flame. So the, the nation of Israel was split into two kingdoms. Operating like two different nations of people, the southern kingdom, northern kingdom, the Jews and the rest of the Israelites, right? It says they're going to come back one day united like a fire and a flame, read. And the house of Esau was stubble. In modern terminology, it would be black and brown unity, right? Negroes and so-called Latinos realizing that they're one nation of people, read. And they shall kindle in them and devour them. It says they're going to be amongst these so-called Caucasians and other groups of people, and they're going to kindle in them. And these people are going to play the part in this analogy like kindling, something to burn up, right? Read. And there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau, for the Lord has spoken it. So God has pronounced genocide on his nation of people. That's right. Right? After other judgments come. But... In conclusion, it's complete genocide. Give me Revelation 13 and 10. Let's revisit what Zerach said before you go. Jesus prophesied, because he wasn't just a savior and a king, he was a prophet. He prophesied that after his death, the Israelites would be displaced out of the nation of Israel, out of the promised land, and taken into slavery by every other nation of people. You think of the nations that rose into power in the world, it's because they had Israelite slaves building their kingdoms in them. Right? Read. Revelation chapter 13, verse 10. He that leadeth into captivity. Which is why Jesus, this is Jesus' teachings. Revelation is by revelation or revealing of Jesus Christ himself. He says, those that lead another nation of people into slavery 
shall go into captivity. The reason black people have English names, Latinos have Spanish names, uh, Portuguese names, is because these are the names of our slave masters. Read. He that killed with the sword, you guys killed on initial contact 200 million of us. On initial contact, not even up to this date, which is insurmountable. Right, Reed? Must be killed with the sword. Jesus says those crimes have never been paid for. Your forefathers left you with a tab at the restaurant, skipped out on you, and now you're left with the bill. Read. Here's the patience and the faith of the saints. It says the saints of the Bible are patiently and faithfully waiting for judgment to happen. Because judgment is something God has Who are the saints of the Bible? Good question. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. We'll answer that and then... Well, I, I, I want to get back to... Where, okay, I, I, first of all, I want to know about this timeline. Where, where does this happen during the, like, the, the thousand year reign? Did you guys like read that? This is happening before that. Okay, this is happening before This is how, this is how it's going to be established. Okay. Bloodshed. And this is nations judging other nations. So... Like so, Jesus prophesied, nation rising against nation. Okay, so how will, how will that take place? Like, what do you mean? Like, paint a picture for me. Is there, are, like, the Hebrew Israelites or the Hebrew, like, the true Israelites, they're going to, from wherever they are in the world, let's say I got a, a, a Grandfather was African American, therefore he falls into the, the bloodline, the lineage. He has all the promises. Well, right? He has a chance for hope. Not okay, that so he's gonna necessarily. So there's two different things. So right? do you guys have a greater chance than he does? Not necessarily. Okay, I just want to establish because I'm necessarily. Yeah, because we don't know who he is. Our genealogical records have been burnt up, destroyed, so okay, on and so yeah. forth. The Bible gives us a generalization of how to identify who the Israelites are today. Okay. Right? For all I know, he could be an Israelite. He doesn't know. Give me Job 8 and Job chapter 8, verse 8. For inquire, I pray thee, of the former age. Inquire of the former age. And prepare thyself to the search of their fathers. Search out who your patrilineage is. Don't take no 23andMe DNA test because that goes by the marital line. Right? Check who your fathers are as far back as you can. See what history they have. If it goes back to a Negro or Latino, more than likely you're an Israelite, right? There's certain things, indicators on these people, spiritual indicators that line up with biblical history and archeology span that tell you that these are the Israelites. Even the Jewish people in the land today, their scholars have identified Hispanics and Negroes as Israelites throughout the annals of time. Okay, so so it's established. I'm, I'm, okay. I'm an Israelite, right? You are. Okay. Didn't you know Aztec was okay? A, so uh, there, so is a so yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. Um. So do I have a greater chance? You say there's a hope. So if if, if I have no Israelite in me, if I have no if there's, I'm, judgment. If there's judgment. There's judgment. Complete. There is no plan of redemption for you. There is no reconciliation. Give me Isaiah 14 Isaiah, Isaiah chapter 14, verse 1. Yeah. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob. So this is future prophecy as well. This hasn't happened yet. Blacks, Hispanics, and Natives right now are still in slavery, even though it's not chattel slavery, right? It says, in the end times, God is going to have mercy on this nation of people and will yet choose Israel. still going to choose his original chosen people. And set them in their own land. And take them out of everywhere they've been scattered and set them in the promised land. And the strangers shall be joined with them. These other nations of people are going to be joined with us in the kingdom of heaven. And they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. But they're going to be subservient to the Israelites. Because there's class systems in every kingdom. The kingdom of heaven is no different. And the people shall take them and bring them to their place. And the house of Israel shall possess them. Shall possess, that's that word again. Possess them like you possess that shoe. Those shoes. Possess them in the land of the Lord for servants and handmaids. Right? So these other people are going to be a possession as slaves okay. in the kingdom of heaven. In heaven. In for eternity. Okay. In heaven. So is there, do you guys not believe in, in hell? Hell is played out on earth. Black Hispanics and natives are in hell right now. So 
when Jesus was talking about the weeping and gnashing of teeth were praying yeah, as a lake of fire. Weeping and gnashing of teeth. Who right? is? Give me Jonah two. Wait, who is? Black, Hispanics, and Native. What, okay, what does that look like, like practically? What is my weeping and gnashing? What is my torture? What is my separation from God? No love. No love. Killing your own people. Locked up by your enemies. In Dude, slavery. I'm free. Are you really? I'm really. If you can give me so one you, example. Wait, wait, wait. Not, I can you can free. you go outside of the U.S. without their permission? Then you're not no, free. That's just not the you're not. Work. No. Okay. You're so, not so, free. Okay. So when if you, you mean can't free, make that choice without going to somebody else. You're not free. So if I can't go into somebody's house, if someone locks their door. Do you have a social security card? Yes, I do. Your property, bro. Okay. I'm not sure. You what have a number is, like cattle. I, I think that could be. Just you have a barcode. So okay, property so, too. Yeah, of course. Oh, okay. okay. Oh, white so people you're... don't even care about white people. So you're not free. <laughs> so no one's free. You can establish that. No one's free. We're all property because we can't go into other countries. If that's what we're going to depend on, like, wait, that's what's going to determine wait, whether wait. or not someone's free. But is there a difference between his, his slavery and yours? I see no difference. There, no? We both can't go in, he can't go into a country without the same way I can. He can trace his history back to Europe. Okay. How far can you trace yours? No clue. I, I can care less. You can go back to Mexico and you don't even know the original original name of Mexico. Okay, I don't know what that has to do with my life right now. I mean, it's it was right stolen there. from you. The point Dude, is, like I said, I'm free. I can. I have the same amount of chance he does. If I don't mess up, if I don't do drugs, if I, there's so many things you can go down. Right? There's certain circumstances, yes, and that can be caused by you know. Certain social things that happen. Right, so, so but, in the but, in the job place, right? Because I used to work at finish line. What we did was we put the we put under uh, people we wanted to hire. We put the asterisk under Black African American. So those applications came through, and none other applications did. So if you think you can get a better job than him, if y'all want work, wanted to work the same job. It's impossible. They will have to choose you instead of him. He has to be some type of messer. I think that's a theory that we hold on to. It's Wait, not a hold theory. On, hold I just on. said I'll work. Okay, so like, yeah. That's systematic racism is a theory? Right. right. I think overall, like, it's... It, 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 I'm not saying that it, it won't happen. Like, racism won't happen to this finish line or whatever. But look, you can take my company, for example. I make just as much as a, as a white guy next to me. Like, yeah, I'm not going to sit here and say everyone's perfect. Look, America's gonna, perfect. All of our rules, all of our laws are perfect. I'm not going to sit here and... Like, okay. oh yes, the Constitution is through and through. That's how old are you? Is, how old are you? 21. 21. Uh, we you're, live in a you're a little world. young. I'm a little the young. The reason I'm sure. saying that is because you have this mindset of individualism. You might be right. doing okay. Right. You might even be doing better than a lot of white people. Okay. But your people as a whole, they're still Mexicans down at the border, right. locked up, separated from their family. Because right. there's rules. There's rules? Is, hold, is on, there, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's establish this. You guys lock your doors tonight? Hold on. What land are we in? We are in America. No. What state is this? Arizona. Arizona. What was it before Arizona? Mexico. Mexico. Okay. So this point? is land that they stole from your people, okay. and now you have to follow their rules. The people that came colonized the slave. I, I was born in America. I was born in this country. In Arizona? I was born in California. In California. Same thing. That's in Mexico. That's right? Mexico. So what do you mean I have to follow? The, I'm part of that country. Yeah. So what do you mean I'm following their rules? The, the, the laws of America okay. are established for this country, yes? Correct. And if you break all those laws, there's consequences, yes? Correct. Are there the same laws in different countries? Or there's different laws. Everybody has their own yeah. constitution. Correct. So, like I said, the people that came and raped, robbed, and murdered your forefathers okay. and foremothers came over here and established rules that now you have to follow. Or there's consequences. That's what I was born into. Is that justice? What do you mean? Is it unjust? Is it just something that happened? Okay, so and then they've paid. never paid for their crimes, right? right? So you have criminals setting up laws yes. for everybody else to follow, but they wouldn't follow them themselves. What's the what's the look? Crimes against humanity: kidnapping, murder, genocide, rape. Crimes against you. Yeah, every I, nation, I all, every nation all, takes these serious. Okay. Every nation has consequences for doing these things. Have they ever paid for them though? Because they, they, they want us to pay for them immediately. You have a question, and you've been listening very well. Isn't that sin? Sin. And who came to redeem us from our sin? Okay, good question. Sin is what? 
it's it's dark. It's well, sin takes. What's the biblical definition of sin? Let's simplify. Unrighteousness. Unrighteousness. Disobedience. Disobedience. But let me let me breaking God's law. Let me let me the Ten Commandments. Sorry, Mark. Let me the Ten Commandments. So, is the, the Bible, and I'm learning here. Let me. I love the I love the Bible, the Holy Bible, the 66 books. I can tell because you've been but listening. Listen, this is God created God created man and woman, Eve and Adam. I can't find anywhere in the Bible where God said, "Here's an Asian, here's a black, here's a white." Now, there's tribes, them Israelites, Moabites, okay, and okay. Ammonites. Create, but man, we're sinful creatures, correct? The Bible says we're born into sin. Okay. Okay. The rules of the United States of America. Who created those rules? God, or man. Oh, uh, man. Okay. We're sinners. Okay. So, the Bible says if you if you repent, turn from turn from your sin and live, give your life to right. Jesus Christ, right. call out to Christ, you shall be saved. All right. Give me Acts thirteen. Now, now socially. Listen, real so, quick before you so, keep going, just oh yeah, because no, I want to no. understand what I, you believe repentance is. What does repent mean? Turn from your sin. Turn back turn again, up. right? Yeah, turn so, to, turn at one point in time, you had to be following something, or at least your nation of people. Yeah, I was following right? my flesh. So, who was the law given to? Because he gave a good answer. Sin is disobedience, unrighteousness, breaking of God's law. Yes. What was the purpose of the law? You guys, can you guys answer what's the purpose of the law? To so govern a nation of but do you think that was it? Do you think there was the purpose of law? The, the that's law the had nothing to do with the coming Messiah. That's the foundation. Of course. What is, what and the law it tells us to follow Jesus Christ. Okay. So, with that, give me uh, Deuteronomy four and five. What you hold? Give me Acts thirteen and twenty six. Let's get uh, Deuteronomy first. That's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter four and verse five. Yes. No. Behold, I have taught you statutes and judgment. You ask what the law is for, right? Me? Even as the Behold. Lord my God commanded Behold. me. These are from God himself. Read. That ye should do so in the land whether ye go to possess it. This is establishing Israelites as a nation, giving them laws to govern themselves, just like every nation has. Read. Keep therefore and do them. For this is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the nation. This is why Israelites, when they were in power, keeping the law, being obedient to God, they were looked at as wise people. Somebody fit to lead. We shall hear all these statutes and say, surely this great nation is a wise and understanding people. Right? Read. For what nation is there so great? Who hath God so nigh unto them, right. and as the Lord our God is in all things that we call upon him for? Yeah. Right. So, initially this law was to make us a wise people, to build a foundation that if we kept, we would have been ruled. Right? But, hold on, hold on. He, don't... He's good. He's just, he's not, he's not all there. So if he says oh, something, like, he's, oh, he's, we know. Oh, we know. <laughs> we know. Okay. I was about to say, oh, no. Give me I, don't, know. I just don't want to know nothing out of Pop Bach because I know we, we talked to him a lot and he gets so rowdy. So. Repentance, again, this law was given to one nation of people. God wasn't dealing with anybody else except if they came to live. Does that with include the Gentiles? What? Well, to them, it's Gentiles and Jews. Okay. Okay. okay, right. So they could live amongst the Israelites as slaves. Right in the law, it says you can take slaves of these other people, and then you can even pass them down to your children. Right? That's the relationship Israel had with other nations. Go ahead. Acts chapter thirteen, verse twenty-six. Bring it out, men and brethren, children of the stock of Abraham, right? God's chosen people: Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, their descendants. And whosoever among you, whosoever among these people, feareth God. To you is the word of this salvation sent. This is who salvation is for. This is who has a chance to repent. Because they were the only people a part of this thing in the first place. Right. You asked another good question earlier that we didn't get to address. Who are the saints? The biblical qualification for who a saint is are those that made a covenant with God by sacrifice. No nation outside of the nation of Israel has ever made a covenant with God by sacrifice. Proven again that so nobody. Are you guys still holding on to the, to the, to the old covenant? Do you guys I mean, believe in the, new the old covenant. 
prophesied that the new covenant would be for the same people. Which old covenant? Hebrews chapter 8, verse 8. For <sighs> finding fault with them, he saith, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. So it says. There's going to be a new covenant that's going to be established with the house of Israel and the house of Judah. Right? Same ethnic group of people, right? Not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day when I took them by their uh, I took them by their hand to lead them out of the land of Egypt, saying that this is the same group of people that I took out of the land of Egypt as slaves, proving that it's ethnic Israelites, right? Because they continued not in my covenant. And I regarded them not, saith the Lord. Right. So, according to the Bible, the old covenant and the new covenant are for this ethnic group of people. Well, Romans nine. Wait. So, so where does Romans nine, ten, and eleven come in? Like, who are they referring That's to? Where That's right. where I was going. That's where I was going with okay. Romans nine. Well, this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days. So, again, this is future promise. A new covenant established in the future for this same people. Go to Romans nine. Romans chapter 9, verse 1. I say the truth in Christ, I lie not. Romans was written by Paul, right? This is a letter, an epistle to Rome. Not everybody in Rome, but a specific group of people in Rome, right? Read. I lie not. My conscience also bears me witness. My conscience also bears me witness in the Holy Ghost. So with the Holy Ghost, you're not going to lie. Because the Holy Ghost is the spirit that's going to keep you from lying. Right? It's a God. It's a okay, okay. Let me let me preface this. You're not going to break God's law. What law? No, so are you saying you won't sin? If you're filled with the Holy Ghost, if you're filled with the Spirit, you won't the, sin at all. The spirit so no is one here is, is filled with the Spirit. Filled spirit. Convicts you to keep the law. Right, I agree. Right. So it he prophesies that when he pours his spirit out on people, that's what's going to keep them from sin at that point, right? Go ahead. So what if you don't listen to that conviction? Does that mean that can you be convicted of something and still follow through and going Give me against a, that conviction? What is it? What is it? Yeah. I got a question. I got based so, off what you just said, yeah. right? Is it okay if I ask him a Go question? Ahead. Go ahead. That piece that you got on there is pork. No pork. No pork. Wait. What is it? Pepperoni? Yeah, there's pork. Okay. No pork for you? No pork? All right, so you remember your question, right? Okay, what is it? So it's a sin to hand that out okay. to people, homeless or not. That's not for So that, was that moral law or ceremonial law? No, that's in the law of the Bible. There that's is, a little look, Christianity likes to break God's law into category, ceremony, right. uh, dietary, so on and so forth. Right? But that's not just like the numbers in the chapters in the Bible. That's not in the Bible. Right? It's one law. Uh, go to Romans 9. Romans 9. Romans 9, verse 3. Paul says, My conscience and my spirit bears witness that I'm not lying. Right? You can at least give it that. Go ahead. Romans 9 and 3. For I could wish that myself were accursed from Christ for my brethren. For my brethren, my brothers. My kinsmen, my kinfolk, according to the flesh, according to the flesh, my people, according to the flesh, read, who are Israelites, so, and then he even elaborates that my people, according to the flesh, are Israelites, right, read, to whom pertaineth the adoption, the adoption of God, those that can come back into the family of God, it says that belongs to Israelites, read, and the glory, the glory which is the kingdom of heaven, belongs to the Israelites, read, and the covenant, the covenants, both old and new, belong to the Israelites, right? And the giving of the law. The giving of the law, which we already established, was given by Moses to the nation of Israel, belongs to the Israelites, right? And the service of God. The service, which is the ministry, belong to the Israelites, right? And the promises. The promises, the good news, the gospel, were given to the Israelites, right? Who are the fathers, and of whom, as concerning the flesh. Concerning the flesh. These are one ethnic bloodline group of people, right? Well, concerning the flesh, Christ came. This is the people that Christ came out of, who was over all. God bless forever. Amen. So, again, that sums it up pretty well with Paul. And Romans says that all these things that people look for from the Bible, 
the gospel, the good news is for the Israelites. Go ahead. Not all of Israel is of Israel. Go ahead. Not as though the word of God had taken an effect, right? For they are not all Israel, which are of Israel. So, historically, we understand that at this point in time, there were converts coming into the promised land that we were teaching, like Herod and Tetra, who were claiming to be Israelites by their mother's lineage. But we already established that that's not how you... What, 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 Romans 9, 6. Yeah. We'll read that last part again. Go ahead. Well, they are not all Israel, which are of Israel. Right. Okay. I, I, I see what you guys are saying. And there's even separation between Christianity, Protestant, Evangelical. I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with Reformed theology, but within Reformed theology, there's two Are you a Reformed Christian? I'm a Reformed, yes. Reformed. Are you from the Church of Apologia? No, I'm not. I I actually... The real you no, I'm pretty. So they're 16. They're London Baptists. They're, they're what we call covenantal. Okay. I go to a dispensational church, but I kind of in between them. But I am familiar with. I believe heavily with apology and their theology. But you'll get into and there is a difference between my church and apology is when it comes to the covenants, right? And and the Israel. Obviously, okay. dispensationalists they don't believe that we are Israel. Covenantal. Co the covenantal viewpoint says that we are Israel, right? So we'll use that text to say, just like just because you were born a you know a Jew doesn't mean you are a okay. Like now, you that's are, a good point. Okay. But I'm gonna tell you why you need to revise that. Okay. Before we get to verse six, it says all these things are according to Israelites, according to the flesh, right? So you would have to find a way to explain what that means with verse six. Added. Wait, what? Which verses am I? I'm, I'm trying to reconcile verse six with what? Start at three. Romans nine and three. For I could wish that myself were a curse from Christ for my brethren, my brothers, my kinsmen, kinsmen, according to the flesh, according to the flesh, who are Israelites, to whom pertained the adoption and the glory. And the Acts thirteen and one. Go ahead. The adoption and the glory and the covenant and the giving of the law, and the service of God, and the promises. So it says, all these things pertain or belong to the Israelites. Read. Whose are the fathers, and of whom, as concerning the flesh, Christ came. This is according to the flesh. That's the second time in three verses that it says it's according to the flesh. Romans 2 and 28. Let's go to 1 and 7 first. 1 and 7? Yep. Hey, I was supposed to. I was supposed to go know, out these people, but but real, real, okay. Hey, listen, so I just want. I just want to get because I haven't. You know, I've listened to some apology stuff on you know people is like I'm not sure if that's what you guys. Yeah, I'm yeah. not sure if that's what you guys are trying to tell me. Tell me. And come I know, on know on. there's a lot more bigger, <laughs> bigger theological issues. But what I want to know is, what are you guys? Doing? Are you guys out here sharing the gospel with? We're uh, trying with to, those but you're going, trying to leave. Who may? Who may be? Hey, there's hope for you, maybe, if you have a little bit of your religion. Is there, is this, there, this, do you this, guys think there's a greater emphasis on the color of your skin, or, or not, maybe not the color of your skin, but who your descendants are? And does yeah, who your descendants are have to do anything with the plan of redemption? Of course. Okay, we just so, read that it's a So if he doesn't flesh. have any Hebrew Israelite in the Hebrew, he's going to He has, he's a, be he a, has he's a judgment he can't escape. <laughs> okay, so what Give about, what about, what, what, will that be in... Look, like I'll be chosen again. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 yes, they are. I thought we tried to run away for weeks. You guys, you guys, read different translations. Are you racist? Or what's, what's your favorite translation? Being slaves. Let's What is that? Okay. You want to read a little girls? They do. Okay. They are chosen Micah chapter 5, verse 7. Do compare the text, though, with different translations? Yes, okay. That's cool. Micah chapter 5, verse 7 in the ICB. Behold. Then the people of Jacob who are left alive hey, will boy, be like dew from the Lord to many boy, people. They will be like rain which does not wait for man. They will be like showers which do not wait for human beings. It says the Israelites are going to be scattered amongst different groups of people. My shower doesn't turn on. Those left alive of Jacob's people will be scattered among the nations. Those left alive will be scattered amongst different nations. They will be among many peoples. They will be like a lion among the animals of the forest. They're going to be like a lion amongst the other animals' cattle, right? What does lion do to play? <coughs> no. They will be like a young lion going through the flock. Not an old lion that's on his, 
like uh, his teeth are worn down. He got to catch. What about the lion that right Adam had? To, you know, he steps on what is in his way. No one can save the nations from God's people. I said, okay, you know Jesus prophesied you know nation against them. nation. That's race wars. All the race is is a nation of people. It says the Israelites at one point in time are going to be like a lion of beasts of the field. And it says no one's going to be able to save the nations. Wrong, Meaning dumb, Jesus is with. Wrong. That's Who? stupid. Who people believe is their savior. Race the Bible says nobody's going to be able to save you. Them. Are wrong. Read it again. Wrong. They will be like a young lion going through the flock. Behold! He steps on what is in his way. No one can save the nations from God's I'm people. So that's in the Bible literally saying no salvation for nobody else. Read. So you will raise your fist in victory over your enemies and you will destroy them. Unless right? you're white. Uh, and this is referring to... My bad. My bad. My Hebrew. bad. I'm sorry. You can give me my back. You can whip it. Israelite. So, so very simple. Whip it good. Go super deep. Who are the people that would grab other Israelites? Yes, sir. And they had those the people. We got, you, why were they grafted in? Who was the people that weren't grafted in? Uh, so we have all of other people. We have Hebrew. Hebrew Israel. Then we have those who are already there. Paul, okay, right? Look, and then I'm we have the brother. Yeah, that's, that's super grafting. Fun. Grafting is another word for adoption, okay. right? Those that had to be adopted into the family. So those that who were not yet saved. That were those. Give who, me Galatians four. Oh Jesus Christ. Four and four and Romans eleven. Do it, puppet. Do it now, puppet. I okay. Galatians chapter four, verse care. four. But when the fullness of the time was come, God sent forth his son, made of a woman, made under the law. So Jesus was made, he's an Israelite, so he was under the dominion of the law. Right, read. To redeem them that were to under the law. redeem or deliver or save them that were what? That were under the law. Those that were under the law as he was, which are ethnic Israelites. Right? So these are the people... Keep going. That we might re receive the adoption of sons. That these people might be adopted into the family. These are other Israelites who right. ruled the annals of time, <laughs> taken into slavery, <laughs> forgot their names, <laughs> forgot their gods, so on and so forth. Now they have to be adopted into the family. We read in Romans 9 that the adoption belongs to Israelites. Right? Go ahead. Go. Romans 11. So the whole grafting in concept or analogy comes from Romans This is the book of Romans 11, verse 26. And so all... Romans is now Israelite. And so all Israel shall be saved. Like the word is, all Israel shall be saved. Meaning white people. Yeah, salvation for Israelites. Right? And it, as it is written, there shall... They shall come out of Zion, the deliverer. Which is what we read in Numbers 21, the Savior and the ruler from Israel. And shall turn away ungodliness from Jacob. This is the new covenant when the Holy Spirit is poured upon these people and they stop sinning. They're saved from their sins. This is, this is the problem with your literature. For this is my covenant unto them when I shall take away their sins. Again. The new covenant we read is for the Israelites to have that established or solidified again that this new covenant is for the Israelites. As concerning the gospel, they are enemies for your sake. But as touching the election, they are beloved for the Father's sake. Behold! For the gifts of calling of God. Oh, you started at 26? Yeah. Read the verse about 25. This verse 25. For I will not, brethren, that ye should be ignorant so of this. he says, I don't want you to be ignorant of this uh, uh, analogy, this metaphor, this similitude of this olive tree in the grafting process. Right? For I will not, brethren, that you should be ignorant of this mystery. Read. Least ye should Read. be wise Read. in your okay. own conceit God, you that blindness is part of Hatzalah. In part, is happened to <laughs> Israel. Blind has happened to Israel. That's why they have to be grafted back in. And you are Israel and you are blind. Until the fullness of the Gentiles be come in. You got Acts 13. Hello, so I'm blind. gentle. Wait, wait. So I got a, I got a question. Uh, right, so we said no. we established oh the Holy Spirit. So you can't sin. Stupidity is really boring, guys. So how do you reconcile that with Romans 6 where uh, if grace abounds, does that mean we continue to sin? They just or is that, is that, is that, is that not really Jews? Jews? 
about what about first John when it talks about first John talks about eventually? Is it are we are we mixing up? So so Romans to God. You can be no, like you guys person. You guys are. Hebrew is like, can you guys be disobedient to God? Of course. Are you guys full of the Holy Spirit? Nah, we have been. Do you guys be full of the Holy Spirit? Do whatever you want. What did the Holy Spirit I'll give you real easy to sum it up. Ezekiel 36, actually, you keep that. Ezekiel 36, 24. Read this one first. Six and one. Six and one. Let's do it. This is the book of Romans, chapter 6 and verse 1. What shall we say then? What shall we say then? Shall we continue in okay, sin? Will Shall we better continue to break yeah. God's law? <laughs> that grace may abound? Because we have grace. Grace really is just an opportunity to do right. That you don't pay for your sins. It doesn't mean that you're not going to pay for your sins. Just like grace period on the light bill. They might give you grace or extend your due date, but you still have to pay that. God forbid. God forbid. How shall we that are dead to sin? You're dead to sin, it means you don't sin. Live any longer therein. You shouldn't be living in sin if you're dead to sin. No, you not. No, you not that so many of us, as were baptized unto Jesus Christ, were baptized into his death. Therefore, we are buried with him by baptism unto death. Like bitches. Sorry, I'm just trying to make it fun. Anyway, we got Go ahead. Ezekiel chapter 36, verse 24. For I will take you from among the heathen and gather you out of all countries and will bring you into your own land. Right? Then will I sprinkle clean water upon you. I'm going to cleanse you. Washing of the water by the word. And ye shall be clean. You shall be clean. Clean from all your filthiness. From all your filthiness. And from all your, filthiness, and from all your idols will I cleanse you. Right? A new heart also will I give you. The Bible says Israelites were disobedient from the damn job. The only way they're going to get it right is so God steps in and makes things right. Read. A new heart also will I give you. A new heart is going to circumcise your hearts. And a new spirit will You're I put so within you. I'm going to give you a new spirit. This Holy Spirit. To do the and I will take away the stony heart out of your flesh. I'm going to take away this fleshly heart or this stony heart. And I will give you an heart of flesh. And I will put my spirit within you. His spirit. And cause you to walk in my statutes. And cause you to keep my law. And you shall keep my judgments and do them. So when God does give us the Holy Spirit, you can't break it. So you have it, 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 yes, yes, okay, it's lying as it, yes, so is, so is meeting people, okay, yeah, you just have to decide about that, you guys just have to buy the ceremony, that is it, that's that ceremony, I got a question, who says that feeding pork is a sin? That's a good question, let me, let me explain why, because in the Bible, Jesus said, you're going to manage the man, you're going to manage the animals and take care of all the things, of of the earth, that's what mankind is supposed to yeah, do. Of I mean, look. So when Jesus pork, came, in, have a a a. It's a time and a place for everything. Right? Sure, so sure. You can have pigs, yeah, as long as they're alive, but you can't touch a dead one, and you can't eat it, right? Jesus says, if you're caught in a lifestyle where you're okay with eating pigs, he's going to kill you personally. Okay, but Isaiah chapter 66, verse 17. This is future prophecy too. They that sanctify themselves and purify themselves in the gardens behind one tree in the midst. And in the swine's flesh. Jesus says, when he comes back, if you're eating swine's flesh and other abominations... And the mouths shall Testament? be consumed together, says the Lord. They're okay. going to die. Jesus, when Jesus came, what did he say? I'm the new covenant. I didn't come here to, to abolish the laws. I came here to fulfill the laws. Right? So now it's the Ten says, Commandments. If you don't, it's not just ten, but he says... If Where does you, it say not just ten in the New Testament? Uh, Matthew 19 and 16. John 15. 
parallel notes together what he said in John 15. He is the new man, the true man. Okay. No did did right. Jesus keep the law perfectly? Or did, yes, he, he did. did. He did. Are we supposed to follow his example? Yes or no? Yes. So have we okay. kept the law perfectly? We haven't kept the law. What is repentance? Have you? Going back to that. What is repentance? Once you, know you know better, once you know better, do better because there are no excuses. Okay, so is that repentance a one time thing? Or is it If Look, if I know tattoos are against the law, once I find that out, I'm responsible for that knowledge. Once, if you're in ignorance, you don't know, then God doesn't hold so it against you. What was your name? Hadar. Hadar. Once you find out, you know, once you came to the realization of sin, sin, right? Did you sin from that point on? You know, Hebrews. Look, once actually, I found out tattoos were against the law, as a Greek, tattoo right? artist, Greek, stop Greek. giving tattoos, stop taking them myself. Okay. I did found you, out you eating stop, pork was you, against you, the law. Yeah. I stopped. Did you eating stop pork. looking at woman? Oh, hallelujah. Since, since let me ask you something. Let me ask. Are no, you hetero, you let me answer? ask you something. I'm heterosexual. Heterosexual. You're heterosexual. Right? right, that's the right one. Yeah. Heterosexual. <laughs> so what does that mean? For you. I'm attracted to women. You're attracted to women. Right. What does lust mean? Uh, lust is to look at something with a strong desire. No, it doesn't. It means to desire. Plain and simply, desire. Okay, so, so, so you can lust. Says, whoever looks at a woman lust is when you committed adultery with her. So okay. anyone who on, is slightly attracted to women. They mean the same thing. Why the so? All Jesus came to do was teach us the law and magnify what we were missing in the gospel. Law, right? So adultery is in the law. The blueprint for what adultery is, is a man sleeping with a married woman or a married woman stepping out on her husband. Right? So if you are lusting after a married woman, then you are in sin. Yes. That's in the law. So I could lust after an unmarried woman. Didn't you say you're heterosexual? Aren't you attracted to women? Well, I, I, so I, there's I, I think sin. there's a difference that's between. Not, I think there's a difference between like a lustful desire to wait, commit adultery. Wait, so your head question, is question. If I am married, I can't lust for my wife. Yeah, you can walk okay, I mean, So that's why I'm saying you have to put it in the context of what the Bible is saying. Right. Adultery is immoral sexual acts outside of marriage. Right? We ain't got to get there. Uh, so he so asked, what, I, what I'm saying is, so what, asked, I, I, I real quick, understand. I want to address okay. that. He asked, where in the New Testament does it say that there's more than 10 of God's law? Can anybody here count off the 10 verbatim? Yeah, the first 10, given in Exodus 20. So you're, so you're saying that there's more? Of course so, there are. I think, is it is it on, a sin to be a homosexual? No, 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 yes. This, this, yes. This, this, yes. We don't, we don't, just, we don't just believe that. And once Romans 1 came, and 25 says that that's a sin still. So that's one in the New Testament. Paul yeah, quotes no, we, muzzling we, we, the we, ox. We, that's we, two in the New Testament. Right? So okay, we can here, here's what I'm trying to figure out. Is okay. Are you guys with or without sin? Are you guys able to Go ahead. This is the book of Hebrews, chapter 10, and verse 26. The Spirit got lined up for the question, right? Go ahead. For if we sin willfully. If you sin after you already know what sin is, what's right and wrong, and you choose to do wrong anyway. After that, we have received the knowledge of the truth. After you know what's what the truth? There remained the Yes. So what is that? The Ten Commandments. 613. Just, no. No. Because that's, that's the point we're getting. No. Well, no, 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 no. We know the law. When, I, when Jesus saved me, I acknowledged I was a sinner and I, 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 I followed his Ten Commandments. The Jewish people on, created on, over 640... What about the other ones? Hold on. Jewish people? What about... The Isra the Isra his people. The Pharisees, the Sadducees in the Old Testament. Wait, so you're saying that you only have to keep ten? You can yes. be a homosexual and get into the kingdom of God? What's adultery? Adultery is no, sleeping no. with a woman. Adultery sleeping is with... different from homosexuality. Well, no, what is it? What does it say in the New Testament about from yeah, but what, what does it say? Incest. I understand it. What does it say about homosexuality? It says if you don't turn from your yet. sin, like if I'm if I'm going to be sleeping with girls before I used to, like crazy madman, I'm going to hell. That's my judgment. Why? Why? Because the Bible says so. With single women, both. Why? Because that's what the Bible said. Adultery is with. Outside God's of marriage, I'm gonna I'm I'm no. make you prove that. No. Okay. What I'm getting okay. at is get though, what you right. what you just said. You the, the laws of God are were pierced on my heart. 
you just said that. Those laws, we acknowledge those laws. Okay, those laws are the laws that God gave Moses, the Ten Commandments on Mount Sinai to follow. But Moses had way more than ten. What were the two, those two, those two, um, the two tablets. The tablets. What, how many laws were on those tablets? How, how long was Moses? How many up? laws how, were on those I'm tablets? I'm your question. How long? 40 days and 40 nights. How long does it take to write 10? Oh, I'm not going to cut that. Listen, I'm not, I'm not going to. I'm, I'm, I'm trusting God 40 days to, write to give. 10? I'm trusting God to give. I, I trust that thing. 100%, I believe every word that's in the Bible. Okay, so, 100%. You so let me something let me, earlier. Go ahead. Matthew 5, starting yeah. at 17. Yeah. When Jesus said, I didn't come to destroy the law or the prophets, I came to fulfill. Yes. Right? Yes. What you holding? Worst. Yeah, you can't get that. Worst. This is the book of Acts, chapter 3, and verse 18. What did Christ fulfill? But those things which God before have showed by the mouth of his prophets. Wait, 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 wait. If we're going off just the Ten Commandments that we have to follow, that means we don't have to follow Jesus Christ. Because the laws of God in from Genesis, Deuteronomy, Leviticus, this is how That's we know point. that we have to follow this Messiah figure. The Ooh. Ten Commandments don't say anything about following Jesus That's Christ. That's a nasty one right Go there. Ahead. Showed by the mouth of his prophets that Christ should suffer, he has so fulfilled. So, the, the law and the prophets, the verses that speak about him coming, dying, and his sacrifice, these are the things he fulfilled. But he says, if you do or teach any of the little things that we don't have to keep, like growing your beard, like not wearing mixed fabrics, these are little things, right? Shaving the head, bald, getting tattoos. He says, if you teach that these things are okay, or you're doing it yourself, the way to is dead. You still have to die for that. Well, get it. Get it. No, I just, I just, I just, I love that book. Hey, the Bible says it's safe, you know, out. and I know that Cost the Sadducees, the Jewish people, right. well, the Jew, the Sadducees, the Pharisees, they created all these laws, so the people in Jerusalem could not physically follow those laws. So that's why they had all these sacrifices. They sacrificed lambs, sheep, they killed them. There was blood all over the all over the temples. Jesus came to abolish, to fulfill those laws, but abolish. So you believe that in the kingdom to come there won't be any sacrifices at all? I'm sorry, right? Call bitch. I'm pussy. Oh, all right. Jesus Christ was the ultimate sacrifice. Call your pussy in the back. So, I'm going to tell you like this. This is why it's important to know the law. Okay. There won't be any sin sacrifices for the nation of Israel because like we established, the new covenant is that you won't be sinning. So you won't need to make any sacrifices. Sacrifices. But that has no bearing on free will offerings or oblations and things of this nature. And Ezekiel, it prophesies that Jesus Christ will be making sacrifices in the kingdom. And the priesthood will be established for the nation. Free will. He was. For sin, for sin. Again, there's a difference between sin sacrifices and the other sacrifices out loud. Right? The only thing that he says he's done with is sacrifices for his own sin. Doesn't I say, is it Isaiah 51 or 53 that prophesizes Jesus as suffering servant? And, and he, they talk about him being put on the cross, yeah. wounded for us, for, for our sins. Not everyone's though. Yeah, ours in context is speaking about Israel. for his people, though, right? For Israel, but for his 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 people, exactly. his people that he gifted to be children of God. Those are his people, right? Which are Israelites? Yeah, yeah. And that includes that includes Gentiles, right? Hey man, I love this. I love this conversation. You said something about the Sadducees and Pharisees. Yeah, didn't they create all the laws in the old? They didn't create anything. They were, look, I won't say they didn't create anything, but at the time of Jesus' ministry, sure. they were teaching us to keep the laws, 
but they weren't doing it themselves. So okay. the only problem okay. Jesus had with them was that they were hypocrites. Okay. Right. Matthew chapter 23, verse 2. Bring it out. Saying, the scribes and the Pharisees sit in Moses' seat. Right? The authorities of the law. All therefore, whatsoever they bid you, Jesus Christ said, whatever they bid you to do, observe that and do. Do what they tell you to do. Read. But do not after their works. But don't follow after their examples. But as the teachers of the law keep the law. Yeah. Right? Matthew 5 and 17. Matthew 4 and 4 says we shall live by every word of, from the mouth of God. Meaning not just the 10, but the 603 that follow out. But that's impossible. It's not. Jesus did it. Wait, wait, wait. Is Jesus the only one that kept the law blamelessly? Yes. Are you sure? He was Who's one perfect. Of Look you know, out. I, I'm not Jesus sure if you Christ know the spirit, perfect. but I'm setting you up so that the answer gives you the answer. Right? I mean, the Bible gives you the answer. Man, right? I wish I had Matthew Matthew one. Part of Bible. Luke chapter 1, verse 5. <laughs> there was in the days of Herod, the king of Judea, right? a certain priest named Zacharias, Zacharias of the course of Abiah. Right? And his wife was of the daughters of Aaron, and her name was Elizabeth. Right? And they were both righteous before God. They were righteous. Walking in all the commandments and ordinances of the Lord blameless. So these are people that were keeping the law blamelessly. So Jesus wasn't, we have many more. Noah, Noah was called for yeah. Jacob was called yeah. for Right? Yeah. Abraham. Yeah. So Jesus wasn't the only one, but he was needed. Man, I, I love this conversation. I can talk to you guys for hours. Yeah, it's a good Keep combo. it up. It's a good combo. It's, it's got good. I, it makes me want to get home and study more. Right. This is how it's supposed to go. No, Even I'm if just, we disagree, my mind is like you know, burnt out because like, I'm, this is good. I'm yes. processing what I've been learning in the Bible. It's all good. It is. Can <laughs> you grow a beard, man? I went to Israel and got baptized with Jordan five years ago, and I had. But you weren't baptized by the word. I was I was saved. And I was saved. Jesus says those. I was saved, and, I, says, and then I went. You haven't endured to the end. Yeah. Mean death. Yeah. You haven't been saved. Right. Well, right. he saved me. I can, if you're alive today. I can say I, he saved, saved me. I used to roam these roads here on Mill Avenue and party in all these bars. I bet you did, and I did. When I got baptized, <laughs> what's, what's your nationality? Um, well, I got some German in him, Irish. German in him? Yeah, I got some German, Irish, and uh, a little Italian. A little Italian, okay. Can, you can grow a beard, though. I can see the shadow. I don't think I can grow one as good as you. <laughs> this brother's growing his. I can see stubble on his face. Anyway, thanks, guys. How clean? With a razor? Yes, sir. Man, don't do that. Don't. You, you can shave it close, leave some stubble on that. Don't leave it crazy. Bible says don't do that. Bible says don't do that. It's like in the law. Yeah, the first five years. Adon, what's your name? Rico. Rico. Man, tell me why everybody at the security gig started calling me Rico like two years back. And that shit stuck. Because it's another nigga up there that's called Rico. And then, oh, like, bro, my name is Ray. Rico. All right. So, what do you think about Peter being able to eat animals? He didn't ask him. Uh, did he say he was eating animals? Didn't he deny that three times? Just rise and no, we'll kill and eat. He said, I've never eaten anything. But then he said, that God made clean, do not. He said, right. what God has made clean, do not call common. Right. So what he would you know, see, again, just like the grafting and process, this olive tree is thinking about nations of people. Those animals are not unclean animals to eat. These are nations of people. Right? Well, it says unclean animals. Right? But if you read in verse 28, go down to 28. Yeah, and he said to them, you yourselves know how unlawful it is for you to associate with or visit anyone of another nation. Okay. But 
God has shown me that I should not call any person conqueror. Like so that's what was uncommon in this analogy. Not for things you can eat, but for people you can accept and uh, conquer. But it's just you know, all kinds of animals and reptiles and birds and birds. He said, no, he told the most high God, no. <laughs> so why did God tell him to eat? Because he's saying, he can't, <laughs> it's, it's time to go to these other people who you were deeming with all of them and accept them. Uh, so it says, Joel, it says, I'm not uh, what God has cleansed. Let no man call uncommon or unclean. Right? Right, right, right. It says, what God has cleansed. So now we have to figure out what God said he was going to cleanse or what he had already cleansed. It's the book of Joel, chapter 3, and verse 20. But Judah shall dwell forever, and Jerusalem for, from generation to generation. For I will cleanse their blood that I will not cleanse, that I have not cleansed. For the Lord dwelleth in Zion. So these people that were called uncommon and unclean are Israelites that have to be cleansed. Like we read about the Holy Spirit, we're going to be washed from our sins and our children. Right, so that's what the, the vision of the grasping the infinite. Okay. No fucking shit. I'm very overwhelmed with a lot of other things. Yeah, so I, 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 can I just say? Overload. Well, if you're going to group me with. I don't know. I'm not going to get into all the details of it. Did God not die for it? He's not died for it. Before we go anywhere, why are we not there right away? Isn't that what this is all about? This is the whole Bible. I mean, all we've been reading is the Bible. I know, but we've been reading Jesus' words, things prophesied about Jesus. So, 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 in totality, we're giving you a scope of how things go throughout the Bible so that when we do pinpoint point certain concepts, we don't take them out of context. Go to real quick Romans 9 and 13. So, you ask, didn't Jesus come and die for everybody? Do you guys believe God loves everybody? That's, that's what we're getting to. So we would have to ask ourselves, if we take God loving the world for face value, someone could say God loves everyone, right? But you wouldn't even disagree with that right now, right? So world can't mean to every individual person, right? Romans chapter 9, verse 13. As it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. So, in the New Testament, Paul quotes Malachi. He says, the nation of Israel God has always loved. We can know they're disobedient, hearted. He's always shown love for Israel. And it says he hates Esau. What he's quoting says he will yeah, always hate Esau. Esau. So and his descendants. Right? Would you say it's a lesser No. I'm saying it means hate. So much so that they're going to be completely wiped out. I don't, I don't think you can get more hated than that. that you're just there, that you're, you're, you're completely destroyed. So, with that in mind, now we can go to the John 3. John 3. John 3 is a conversation. Who is it? 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 John chapter 3, verse 1. There was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. Ruler of the, Jews. the same came to Jesus by night. Why is he coming to talk to Jesus? It's because he believes in 
right? Jesus been doing way too much stuff that it only adds up that he's who he says he is. And said unto him, Rabbi, we know, we know that thou art a teacher come from God. We know that you come from God. There's a lot of the Pharisees that weren't even falling in line that knew that this had to be who was prophesied to be. Even the demons do. That's true. Ooh, so the world again can't mean everybody. Yeah, exactly. Dark is actually a message. Who is it taking you by? What do you mean? Like he's been dark. Ooh, who's your fishing for message? That's why we have to send fish for the past. All right, lost right. And he's the light because he invited us to the ball. The law was prophesied for a spoken out as the light. He believed he's a God, just like all the Israelites are a God. Just like God are a God. What is what's the difference between theos and theos? Well, that's what the Bible says. That's what the Bible says. The, what is spoken what are you teaching? Uh, what, what are you teaching? What are to be the father. What, what, and the other one is spoken out to be Israelite man. For us as natives, we have our teachings way back then, like from our history, what our parents told us, what our grandparents told us, what their parents told us, what we are, how we do it. That's what we believe. Our history weighs about the past. So, what do you believe? So, so that after the history, after the new heaven and new heaven, 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 Remember, he said, how can the Father and the Son do the same thing? Because the Old Testament said God would not share his majesty. Right? Right? Ooh, that's a good point. So you're going to have to explain some stuff. That's it. Let's go to that one. Does God know all things? All the translations. Does Jesus know all things? Huh? Now he does? What did he know? When he would come back. When did, when did he find that out? He still doesn't know. He did. On the throne, in the right hand of the Father, he doesn't know when he's coming back. The Bible says he receives that knowledge from the angel. Proving that he doesn't know all things. That's not the only thing he didn't know. He didn't even know the time or the season that pigs were supposed to grow when he was on earth. Yeah, he said, hey, uh, it says he, no, actually it says he went up to the big tree, not knowing that it wasn't the time that the big tree was grow. I should, I should go on to the but you got it. go ahead. First Corinthians 15 and 27 in the AMP. For the Father has put all things in, subject, in subjection under Christ's feet. So, uh, okay, even if I was all things, he gave Jesus the he, He's giving Jesus the name, right? But when he said, all things have been put in subjection under Christ, it is clear that the Father who put all things in subjection to Christ is accepted. Everything's going to be put under Jesus. That's through the power of the Father, but the Father will not be under Jesus. Right? Since the Father is not in subjection to his own Son. Never that. However, when all things are subjugated to Christ. This is after he receives everything. After he does come into power, this investiture. Right? Then the Son himself will also be subjugated to the one he's still going to be subjugated to the father himself. the father who put all things under him so, so again back to the original thing i said you can say you believe in the whole bible but if there's one or two things that we can show you that you don't believe in or one or two things you're like, yeah, I have to see this is a certain thing. This is what you can This is Jesus. It says Jesus is subjugated to the Father. Did they have the same? Did Jesus and the Father have the same deal? The same deal. Okay, so, why did Jesus say that 
Because it was his will to escape that death. We believe this. I understand that. Yeah. I understand that. Yeah. So, are, so we wait, are you saying that the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost are equal? No. Co-equal. Yeah. Yeah. The Bible yeah. just yeah. said that the Son is not equal. Many times Jesus said, my Father is greater than me. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. 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 I would say because he can't be the He didn't know all things. He doesn't have any power except for God. He didn't teach anything except for God. Even after everything is said and done, he's still subject to it. And I ask that are all three in the Trinity equal? Okay, so if I do, if I uh, uh, sin against the Father, if they're equal, then I would have the same punishment if I sin against the Son or against the Holy Ghost, right? Right, so it should be the same punishment, but the Bible says that it's not, right? Right. I didn't really hear the answer to the point of who Jesus said that. He called himself in the name of God. So you have two of them. said, I am. Okay, so we get that point. Yeah, yeah, that's where we're going. So that's what the angel told Moses is to go that I am that I am. I am sure I am. Right? In that same verse, throughout the Bible and the archaeology we have, it says that God's name is not Isaac. Right? It's not a higher. I just heard that. So, uh, right. James and Christian. Yahweh. Yahweh, yes. That's the text. Uh, Who the Bible? God says, 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 God Jesus told us not to be great. His name, right? Just like a if you I are going to school, that way, I went back to let's say just leadership or this conversation, so you need a mediator to go to whoever you're dealing with. The mediator takes your message just to you're going in this person. Right? So, again, even in that context, Jesus says, I'm a mediator between the Father and the Son. Meaning, there's three. So, does, does the Father have a God? Or, he is God. Does Jesus have a God? Jesus does have a It looks like, uh oh. He does have a God. So, I understand what you're saying as far as he grew up and this was taught. But do we really go through it? There's certain things. This is not the first time I've heard it. Actually, you got to watch it. Blasphemy of the Holy Spirit cannot be forgiven. Blasphemy of the Son can be forgiven. Proving that you can do the same thing to each of them in their different places. Because they're on a different level. And they demand a different level of respect. I believe that's it. Daniel, Daniel received worship on his way. And then Jesus says, when he comes back, he's going to make people worship the Israelites. Are you familiar with that? Revelation 4, 2, 4, 3. I don't even know. 
you want to get away from the point of Jesus being God? He asked me if I was prepared if Jesus received and worship on on earth. I don't know. I don't even understand that. So I go and it wasn't thought of as sinful. Revelation chapter three verse nine. Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan, which say they are Jews and are not. There's a group of people on earth right now claiming to be Israelites who are not. But do lie. Behold, I will make them to come and worship before thy feet. It says he's going to come and make them worship before our feet. Wait, do you think I'm saying it? No. But the Jewish people, by and large, in the land of Israel today, they are claiming to be the Israelites, and they have no connection to this. They have no connection historically or culturally. So what you're saying to be an angel who is worshiping God, God, and that's what you're saying. And he meant to God. That's what he's talking about. What God? What reason would you be trying to God? Do you believe that other people are God? Why did Jesus say that? The law says that you are God. You're a Mexican, aren't you? Right? Yeah. 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 So like, I what does God mean? Yeah. 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 How much do you bench? How much do you bench? How much? That's pretty powerful. That's pretty powerful. Right? God, the title of God, Allah, which is the Hebrew word which Muslims take and name their God, Allah just means power. Right? So, in the law, it tells us not to revile or speak against the gods, meaning the leaders of the nation, right? Paul got rebuked for speaking against the gods, right? This is the book of Psalms, chapter 135 and verse 5. For I know that the Lord is great, and that our Lord is above all gods. The Bible acknowledges the existence of many gods, many gods. In other words, that's English. That's English. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. 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 Uh, brought up on charges of blasphemy for they thought he was trying to make himself equal to God. Right? So that's his accusation. You're making yourself, you're saying that you're the father. So he's being accused, falsely accused, but accused of that. Read. Jesus answered them, Is it not written in your law? I said, Ye are God. So it says, It's written in your law that. I said, you're gods. What's the problem with me saying? If the law says that you are. Psalm chapter 82, verse 6. No. I have said, ye are gods. And all of you are children of the Most High. So it says, the children of God, which are the Israelites, the men are referred to as gods or prophets. So you guys don't believe in only one God who created the world? You believe in monolatrius, which is... Give me a... What is that? I'm about to ask this. You're asking a lot of really good questions. A lot of really good questions. A lot of really good questions. First Corinthians eight and five. For there, for though there be that are called gods, whether in heaven or in earth, there's gods in heaven and on earth. 
as there be gods many, as gods many, and lords many, and lords many. So Allah, the plural Allah, and ancient Hebrew Allah, and modern Hebrew would be El and Elohim. Right? So gods and we, gods many. Read. But unto but to us there is but one God, the Father. But there is one God, the Father, not the Son and the Father and the Holy Ghost. Of whom are all things, and we in Him. So again, this is monolatrism is the understanding that there are many powers, but the worship of the Holy right? opposed to Christianity and Judaism. Uh, Islam, which is monotheism, which is the belief in worship of only one. If that doesn't compare with the Quran or the Bible, right? Then what do you think? Right? Like, that's like, 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 you mean, like, 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 you said it's just a declarative statement. I am just in blue. I am a god. According to the law, though, that's not terrible. You're saying I am god. You're Mexican too, aren't you? Yeah, it's God says you're God. I don't know if I'm going to be throughout the Bible, we're told to do certain things to a specific name. What do you do with the Bible? What do you guys do with the Bible? Teach. This is the book of Exodus, chapter 15, and verse 3. The Lord is a man of war. God is a man of war. The Lord is his name. So even in the name of God, it is uh, denoting who the leader of the actions follow them. We understand that as God is a living God. He exists. That's what we're saying when he says virtue, right? Not that I am. Right? So we are not going to be Oh, 
that the humanity takes these things at face value without understanding what virgin means in the Hebrew sense, which is not a woman that hasn't had sex necessarily. Right? That prophecy that Jesus was going to be born of a virgin is a dual prophecy. It was fulfilled first with Isaiah and his son. And his son was not born of a woman that had had sex. So we can't then say that no. Well, uh, uh, put it in the context of Jesus that that's what that means, right? Okay, religion. To a person with 12, but this is like to a person for 12, but this is like to a person for 12, but this is like to a person for 12, but Isaiah chapter 7, verse 14. Therefore, the Lord himself shall give you a son. Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and shall call his name Emmanuel. So, again, this was first uh, fulfilled with Isaiah's son, right? This word here for virgin, which is the prophecy we get Jesus' birth from, is uh, almost which only means unmarried or a woman of a marriageable age. We understand that because there's another Hebrew word, which is which means a So in context, the prophecy never said he's born of a woman. No, we're not that kind of native. We're not that kind of native. You know, we don't do that kind of native. No, no, no. That's the book of John, chapter 6 and verse 42. And they said, is this not Jesus, the son of Joseph, whose father and mother we know? They know his dad. How is Lord, it? Lori came to, to the promised land and did the DNA test. She said, you know this, You are the What does the other one do? Or something like that? We have found him on the prophecy. We don't really do that. We worship his We worship his name. So, in Luke 1 34, 35, it says that Mary said to the angel, How will this be since I have heard? Maybe I need to die to her too. But then it says, The angel answered, The whole world will come upon you. The power of the most high will overshadow me. Therefore, the child to be born will be called the Heavenly Father. So we have a parallel with uh, John the Baptist. John the Baptist, his parents were born, he was born six months before Christ. There was a prophecy given to his parents that he's going to be filled with the Holy Ghost from the Holy So, just because it says that he was conceived by the Holy Ghost doesn't mean that there was an immaculate conception. Because the Holy Ghost like us living here, so we have to so the prophecy given where we're foretold that the Savior is going to come from where the son born of a virgin. In this context, the word is almost. Now, if you go into the law, when you first get a wife, ideally, she should be a virgin. The proof of her virgin in the Bible is called this token of virgin. It would be bed sheets that have blood on them after you break their hand. Right? So, in that context, we see the word is betul. The normal thing is that the woman that's never had sex. But well, we can see all of them throughout the Bible like spoken of as women who already have kids, who already have had sex, who have already consummated women. So we can't say then that this means that Mary is not, uh, uh, has never had a man. 
How old do you guess he was? Uh, I'm not of the mind that she was 13. The Bible says a woman of marriageable age is about the same age as a man fit to go to war. She was not. Numbers what? Numbers 1 and 18. Numbers chapter 1, verse 3. From 20 years old and upward, all that are able to go forth toward Israel. So 20 and up is when you consider the Image of God, right. the express image of the invisible God, right? Yep. What does express image mean? If you go into the blue letter, because I just found out you like the blue letter, go into that word, and it's like uh, the impression of a stamp. He's not the stamp himself. But he is the impression that the stamp. And then what is he going to do? Right. Oh, he is the that image of the invisible God. Right. 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 Doesn't it say that the believers would be conformed into the image? Right. It says the believers and followers of Christ would be conformed to the image. Well, so okay. Okay. But it says we would be made for Later when we go back right now, like right now I'm not working I mean when Jesus was around he didn't know all this. And he still doesn't today. So that's something you would have to reconcile with your theology of him being equal to God. He doesn't know everything. He doesn't have the same power as God. They have different wills at certain points. These are different entities and they are not equal. First Thessalonians 5. Can you read 1 Corinthians 15, 27, and 28? 1 Corinthians what? 15, 27, and 28. First Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 21. We out. Prove all things, hold fast that which is good. 
What version are you reading? Yes, we do. Okay, go ahead. For God has put all things in subjection under his feet. So God is the one that gave you power. But when it says all things are put in subjection, it is it is plain that he is expected to put all things in subjection under him. When all things are subject to him, then the Son himself will also be subject to him. Subjection means subservient. Under. Okay, so why in the wilderness was there a church building? Why does he say the people he's talking to in the New Testament are the people that were in the church in the wilderness with Moses? There was no building. Church first and foremost, with or without a building, just means assembly or a congregation. I like you. What's your name again? My name's Joey. Joey. So I'm just wondering, do you really see the Father? Raise Jesus or enjoy the Jesus? Hey, what's our church called again? Shepherd's House Bible Church. Shepherd's what? Shepherd's House Bible Church. Shepherd's House Bible Church. Okay. It's in Chandler. Okay. It's in Chandler. Shepherd's House Bible Church? Yeah. Shepherd's House Bible Church. 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 Yeah. Probably not like this, but yeah, if we sat down, probably less, less noisy, please. Yeah, yeah. We might be able to set up a, uh, uh, Have you spoken with Apologia? Yeah, of course. Many times. You see Apologia you know, at least one time. Have you talked to Jeff Durbin? No, I haven't. I'm waiting on you. We're still waiting on Jeff Durbin. Uh, you have slaughtered vocab many times. Uh, <laughs> James White. I haven't. I haven't. I not, they, don't, they don't believe. Yeah, I mean, look, James White actually has a uh, way he is. Until it gets to the law, where they're teaching that it's okay to do certain things against the law, certain things. This, this, I won't say that I can't learn from people who I disagree with. Right? Um, but, again, the truth is the truth, regardless of who teaches it. Sorry, who teaches against it. Okay. John chapter 5 verse 30 Bring it out. I can of my own self do nothing As I hear I judge And my judgment is just Oh this is a good one Keep going My judgment is just because I seek not mine own will it's Not my own will This is another one that differentiates his will from the most eyes Go ahead But the will of the father which has sent me Which has sent me It says uh was that John 7 16? The servant is not above the master, and so on and so forth. Keep going on But the will of the Father which has sent me, if I bear witness of myself, if he 
if he's giving us his own message, his own will. My witness is not true. His witness is not true, him by himself alone, apart from God. There is another that beareth witness. There's another, meaning there is a different entity. That beareth witness of me, and I know that the witness which he hath witnessed of me is true. Ye sent unto John, and he bear witness unto the truth. But I receive not testimony from man, but these things I say that ye might be saved. Right, so everything, he can't do anything of himself. He only teaches what he was taught by the Father. He only has the power given by the Father. You got something? Yeah. This is John, chapter, se chapter 7, verse 15. And the Jews marveled, saying, How knoweth this man's letters, having never learned? Yeah, uh, Jesus answered them and said, My doctrine is not mine. My doctrine is not mine. Nothing he has or teaches or gives us is of himself. Right. Which would prove that he was the father if he could claim that all these things were his original. But his that sent me. His that sent me. Alright, can I answer your question on verse 15? Um, Alright, so it's a technical question. We'll stay in 1 Corinthians chapter 8, verse 6. 8? Yeah, chapter 8, verse 6. Okay, yeah, 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 but I got it. Can I answer it the same verse? Um, yeah, for there is one God, the Father, from whom all things stand for. Uh, sorry. For one all God things are <laughs> <Christ. laughs> yeah. we exist, and one Lord, Jesus Christ. Through whom are all things that you do we exist? To whom is Jesus Christ? Totally. And then John 10. Keep what? Hold on, keep going. All right. However, not all possessions, not all possesses this knowledge. Oh, that's not the one. Yeah. So it says, one God the Father. Yep. And there's one God the Father from whom all, all things that we exist. One Lord, Jesus Christ. Yeah, that makes a difference. Yep. Now you have to go to the context of prayer and explain that part. Why, if you're still saying that they're the same, why you still under God and will always be under the Father? That's you right. Have to explain that part. What does it say? That's the verse we get. This is what Joey brought up earlier from yeah. Philippians 2. Is that, that, Jesus, like, that, that explains that verse? No, well, you, that's, that's why you can't take a verse because this is it. Well, that's Jesus humbling himself, right? It's also talks about his resurrection. That, uh, right? That's the Father doing an action. He's putting the Son under himself. The Son is doing it himself. Correct, because it was right before he's talking about his resurrection, a few verses before that. So, I'm going to ask you something else. It wasn't him raising himself. Can you kill the Father? You can't kill the Father. But he can't die. The Bible says he cannot die. So if they were the same... You can't believe that Jesus died. But he died. Regardless of if it's temporary or permanent, he died. He died. Is that not a different thing? He took it. Was Jesus the only one ever resurrected from the dead? Everyone is the Did Enoch and Elijah die? Enoch was taken on. So they did Those two didn't die. And there are multiple other people that were resurrected from the dead. So you can't use these things. Wait, well, they were as miraculous as they yeah. are, though. They were asleep. I don't think they were dead. The one guy you're talking about. That's, that's what asleep means. Yeah. That's what they ended up dying later on. Other than you know, yeah. Another person. Yeah, the body died. That's right. right. But that's Jesus, what he resurrected himself. We believe the Father. Wait, so you believe that Jesus has power outside of what the Father did? Even though he said they all work together within the Trinity. Yeah. Oh, give me a. Also, wait, hey, one more word. Hey, just the normal rule in life. Yeah. Anything that's complicated to explain is bullshit. I'm just putting that out there. Anything that's complicated to explain. So the Trinity is what? 
bullshit. How is a cell created? I'm just, I'm just telling you. How is, how is a simple cell created? Scientists don't know. I studied a lot of physics. I think John 1030. I didn't finish my. Idea. Yeah, is it you say are you asking is it uh like, is it again. prophetic is it prophetic because if that can't get answered after we answer the answer is after you said our prophetic answer is all we answered everything but if you can't answer that one we now have a problem those can't answer what was your question? Is it reading it? 27? For God has put all things to subjection under his feet. Okay, has that happened? Has, yeah, it's passed. When, when is all things under Christ's feet? all things under his feet. Eternally. If you do John 1. Okay, so like, for all the people word. out here getting drunk out of their mind, are they under Christ's feet? No, they're, they're, they're slaves to sin. They're slaves to sin. Are they under Christ's feet? Yes, yeah, what does that mean? What does that mean? He's Lord no matter what. If you're not a believer, he's still Lord. No, no, no. Are they subjugated under Christ? They're not. They're not. As in, like, are they submitted to Christ? Hold on, real quick. Do you understand what an investor is? When you come into power like a prince uh, ceremony to make a prince king, where he received dominion in the kingdom. Right. So there's a time and a place specifically that the Bible teaches us where Jesus Christ goes from not having this power to coming into the power given to him by the Most High God. Okay. According to that verse alone, that hasn't happened. Because they're speaking about it. God has to you this. If you ask him, he will tell you. Keep reading that one. Uh, to, uh, 28? Oh, 27. Yeah. So when it says, all things are put in subjection, it is plain that he is expected to put all things in subjection under him. Meaning the Father is in under subjection under Christ. That's exactly what it says. Read it in a different translation. That's the word for word. What is it? The Son is under subjection. The Father cannot be under subjection under Christ. That's what I'm saying. That's what that's talking about. Use agreement. And, and he, he already said that the Father does not have a place. He understands that Jesus does. Who is your grace? He does. Well, I have a surprise. I promise you. Yes, sir. I promise you. It's a card? It's a card. Sakari, I really don't know his music says when it hasn't happened. Oh, so Jesus Christ, people. Yeah. So that's when and then mean it hasn't happened and it's going to. And even at that point in time, he's still going to be under the power of God. He's not going to be able to explain it. Go ahead get that. Daniel chapter 7 verse uh, 13. And the only reason you can't explain it is because it doesn't fit with your presupposition of what you believe already. If you just take that out, you know, we all Yes, we do. Go ahead. Daniel chapter 7 verse 13. I saw in the night visions, and behold, one like the Son of Man came. Jesus Christ, one like the Son of Man came with the clouds of heaven, and came to the ancient of days. Came to the ancient of days, which is the Father. So we know that this is Jesus coming to the Father, and they brought him here before him, and there was given him dominion, and then at this point in time, he's given dominion, rulership, and glory, and a kingdom that all people, nations, and languages should serve him. So this is when he comes into power, and even at this time, he's still subject to the Father. Savior is a good one. Let's deal with Savior. Give me your mind, man. Okay. 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 Okay.
As he spake by the mouth of his holy prophet, which have been since the world began. From the Torah to the prophets and the Psalms, all, uh, all one accord speaking about salvation for Israelites. That we should be saved from our enemies. That we are going to be saved from our enemies. This is circumstantial salvation, the same as Moses and Samson and Joshua so on and so forth. So he's still playing that same position. Really. And from the hand of all that hate us, right, to perform the mercy promised to our Father, the salvation is a promise to the nation of Israel, and to remember His holy covenant, His covenant for Israel. The oath which He swore to our father Abraham it was an oath, a promise to Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, their descendants. That he will grant unto us, unto us, that we being delivered out of the hand of our enemy, deliverance is the same as salvation from the hand of our enemies, might serve him without fear, right? Just like it was told to the Egyptians. He said something was in these. I was yes, like, out because I was in the Hebrews 1, speaking of what God says of his son, who had thrown all the God and gave it to him and never and then later on in verse 10, he said, Lord, which maybe that's the story. Because I think he's going back to the Old Testament. He's not pointing back. Is that what it is? No. So you were thrown, O God, and forever and ever. Scepter of right, of right, and the scepter of right. Therefore, God, your God, has anointed you. Your God, meaning you have a... Someone over me. Yes. But you said you're grown to die. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to go on my own. I'm going to go on my own. This is Hebrews 1 and 3. Who being the brightness of his glory and the express image of his person and upholding all things by the... Express images. 
basically when you go into it, it's, it's being about a tool and or a replication of what the impression of that tool. Right? Well, like a pencil for an artist. The artist is the one creating the image, but he needs the pencil to create it. And upholding all things by the word of his power, when he had by himself purged our sins, sat down on the right hand of the majesty on high. Right, so at the right hand, even in the spiritual realm, they're not the same. It's on the right hand of the Being made. Being made. That word for made in the Greek is created. So he's a creation. So much better than the angel, right? as he had by an inheritance obtained a more excellent name than they. So he plays a role in creating other things, but he himself also, according to the Bible, is a creation. For unto which of the angels said he, at any time, Thou art my son, this day have I begotten thee. Begotten also is another word that to him being created or born of God. And again, I will be to him a father, and he shall be to me a son. And again, when he bringeth in the first begotten into the world, he saith, Let all the angels of God worship him. And of the angels, uh, he saith, Who maketh his angel spirits and his minister of flame of fire? But unto the Son, he said, Thy throne, O God, is forever and ever. A scepter of righteousness is a scepter of thy kingdom. Thou hast loved righteousness and hated iniquity. Therefore, God, even thy God, hath anointed thee with the oil and gladness above thy fellow. He receives his anointing just an hour from his creator. So that part where he said, oh God, was he, was he calling Jesus God? He is a God. He is a God. He's a God. He's a God. But he's forever and ever. So he's the only one. What is Ancient of Days? Because that's the title of the poem. That's never given to anybody. And that's uh, the whole, like, well, he was reading verse 3. It's really just, like, okay. the why he's saying it has to come. Let's go to John but it says he was created. He was made. He was begotten. But it says he's got the law of that, like the law of human. Technically, we judge the angels, actually. It says we will judge. The Israelites will judge the angels. Believers truly will judge the angels. And the son, he says, come. Is he trying to use a familial, like a father son? I mean, more, even more, in a father-son relationship, I'm not the same as my son. And my son better do what I say. I or he's going to get his ass beat. Yeah. Right? He's begotten me in the monogamy. Monogamy. What is that? That's the Greek word? I'm not sure. It's either we can look it up. What, what's the difference between begotten and permitted? Janeo, of men who father children, to be born. To be born. To be begotten of God making Christ his son. Making. So, again, all these things go back to him being created. So, you would say God has changed. You guys think God changed. So, at one point, he wasn't the father of Christ. That's a good point. Do you believe God changes? Okay, so. He doesn't change. Oh, I don't want to touch it. That's fine. So, you believe that. At one point, he was the father of Jesus. No, he's always been. Since Jesus came into creation, he's always been his father. But he, so he wasn't a father at one point. Right, so, like I was asking him, ancient of days means no beginning. He, he's, time is a concept that uh, God is not uh, in the boundaries of. Yeah. Right. Jesus, John 1 and 1, where we get the concept of the difference between Theos and Theos, 
That's the book of John, chapter 1 and verse 1. In the beginning was the Word. So, God comes from before the beginning. But Jesus' conception is when time starts. In the beginning, it's the Word. And so, when the Word was God, He was in the beginning of God. So, Jesus is limited to this, this spectrum of time because he was the first creation. I know the creation of God. Chapter 5, verse 2. Yeah. Verse 2. But thou, Bethlehem, Ephrata, though thou be little among the thousands of Judah, yet out of thee shall come forth he. So even though this place is like the ghetto today, out of thee shall come he, uh, shall he come forth unto me that is to be ruler in Israel, whose goings forth have been of old from everlasting. Jehovah's Witnesses would say that the Spirit of God would be the Holy Spirit. I'm saying the Spirit. 
Chapter 8, verse 12. I wisdom dwell with prudence. I wisdom again. The Holy Spirit is a spirit of wisdom. I wisdom dwell with prudence. And find out knowledge of witty invention. The fear of the Lord is to hate evil, pride and arrogancy, and the evil way, and the forward mouth teaching moment. The fear of God keeps you from sin. Right? The fear of the consequences of God keeps you from being disobedient, just like the fear from the Father would keep you from being disobedient in the household. And the forward mouth do I hate. Counsel is mine and sound wisdom. I am understanding. I have strength. By me, kings reign and princes decree justice. By me, princes rule and nobles, even all the judges of the earth. I love them that love me, and those that seek me early shall find me. me in the beginning of his way. The Lord possessed me. It's a possession. It's not on the same uh, right. the Holy Spirit. It's not on the same That's what wisdom is equivalent to in the mind. When, when God breathed into uh, uh, Adam's nostrils, he was given the Spirit. Right? He was given the Spirit. He became a living soul, right? So this is how that happened. This is the spirit that he was given. The Lord possessed me in the beginning of his way, before his works of old. I was set up from everlasting, from the beginning, or, or ever the earth was. When there were no, no depths, I was brought forth. When there was no fountains abounding with water, before the mountains were settled, before the hills was I brought forth. Right. So, again, uh, being a possession, going back to that word, the spirit is not the father. No. So, when they almost were baptized in the nation of the Father, the Holy Spirit, that's the same part where you get like the three three, one God. That's what I'm saying. Can we be one? You and I know. Why not? I mean, we can be one by one. I would say that's, that's when you think of in the Bible where it speaks about the group of people being one or the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit being one is being, them being on one accord. Right? John chapter 17, verse 21. Bring it out. That they all may be one as thou, Father, art. Ran with them and are receiving consequences from other people for their 
Jesus and the world hath hated them because they are not of the world even as I am not of the world I pray not that thou shouldest take them out of the world but that thou shouldest keep them from the evil these are followers of Christ obedient to God they are not of the world even as I am not of the world sanctify them through, uh, through thy truth thy word is truth as thou hast sent me into the world, even so have I also sent them into the world. Right? Just like Jesus follows a certain blueprint, they're following this blueprint. And for their sakes, I sanctify myself, that they also might be sanctified through the truth. Neither pray I for these alone, but for them also, which shall believe on me through their word, that they all may be one, as thou, Father, art in me, and I in thee that they also may be one in us, that the world may believe that thou hast sent me. So it says, so that they might be one, right. and not only one as a congregation, right. but one in us as well. So now you would have to answer, am I part of the Trinity too? Right. I'm not. I'm not like this. But it says I'm not, I'm not that Jesus wishes for you to be one with him in the Father. And the glory which thou gavest me, I have given them. So, glory that Jesus gets, these people get too. Hey man, you're an Israelite, bro. Dark. Joe. What's your name, man? Ted. Ted. Hey, quick. You're an Edomite, bro. You're gonna get it. <laughs> Alright, well, let's see. Look, we just pray. Hey, the Bible says if you're not going to be obedient to God, He hates your prayer. That's right. That's right. Happy night. And He hates Edomites anyway. So. That's right. That's right. Damn. Damn. No hope for Ted. No hope for Ted. Ted is dead. Ted is dead. Look, uh, like you said about uh, Miriam, uh, who was it, Moses? He didn't want that plague to be on her as one half dead that comes out the womb, looking like she half dead already. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Congregation of the dead over there. What time it is? Shine the light on. They done let them bruise in the dough. Oh shit. They done let them bruise in the dough. They done let them bruise in the dough. Uh, uh. They done let them bruise in the dough. We ain't going nowhere. He bruised. He bruised. He bruised. He bruised. He brew, uh, he brew, they done let them bruise in the dough, they done let them bruise in the dough, look, Joe Biden need the free dark low, the hell is wrong with you, if you Hebrew K, what the hell is wrong with you, he said Deacon you a Hebrew, I can't do a song with you, if the Christians find out then they gon' take me off the pews, I'm like shut the hell up clown, stop picking sides, I'm so Hebrew you can see it in my eyes, Lately I've been seeing the Hebrews on the rise And if they say we hate white people, that ain't lies I know some Hebrews from out west, them boys be blickied up I know some Hebrews from out east, them camps be lit as fuck I know a sister from the west and she be scripted up And if you jump in her DM, she gon' refuse the lust I like pomegranates, cause it got stars on it My heart bleed for my people, though it got scars on it yeah.